Hey guys, in this tutorial, I am going to talk about least frequently used page replacement algorithm. It is also called as not frequently used. This algorithm replaces the page that has the smallest frequency. So I'll explain this algorithm using an example. This is the page frame buffer. These are the page requests. And these are the frequencies. By default, they are set to zero because currently the page frame buffer is empty. Now the first page is seven. So we'll add seven here because the page frame buffer is empty. And when the page which is requested by the program is not present in the RAM, it is called as page fault. So here page fault will occur. So the frequency of 7 will increase by 1. So it will become 1. The next page is 0. So 7 will remain there and 0 will get added here. Again, there will be a page fault because it wasn't present in the page frame buffer. And now again, 0's frequency will increase. The next page is 1. So there is one more space left for it to get added. So 7 and 0 will remain there and 1 will get added. There will be a page fault and 1's frequency will increase by 1. Now the page frame buffer is full and the next page is 2 which is not present in the page frame buffer. So we'll have to decide which page to remove. So now we'll check the frequencies of these three pages 7, 0 and 1. All the frequencies are equal. So we'll apply FIFO here. So what FIFO does is, you just have to look from left to right which page came first, it will get removed. So 7 came first, 7 will get removed and 2 will get added here and there will be a page fault because it wasn't present already and 0 and 1 will remain there. Now 2's frequency will increase, since we removed 7, the frequency of 7 will reset, so it will become 0 again. And we'll put a cross over here so that we know that it is removed. You'll know why we are doing this later. Now the next page is 0 which is already present in the page frame buffer. So 2, 0, 1 will remain there and this will be a page hit. The page which is requested by the program is present in the RAM hence it is a page hit. And the frequency of 0 will increase. So it will become 2. The next page is 3, so we'll have to decide which page to remove. Now we'll see 2, 0, 1, 2, 1 and 1. So which page has the least frequency? 1 and 2 have same frequency. So we'll see between 1 and 2 which page came first. That is we are applying FIFO here. So 1 came first. From left to right we have to check. So 1 came first, so we'll remove 1 and add 3 here. So 2 and 0 will remain there, 3 will get added here and there will be a page fault. Now we'll increase the frequency of 3 and we'll reset the frequency of 1 and we'll also put a cross over here so that we know 1 is removed. Now the next page is 0 which is already present so 2, 0, 3 will remain there and there will be a page hit. And also, 0's frequency will get increased by 1. The next page is 4. So we'll check 2, 0, 3. 0's frequency is 3, which is the highest. And 2 and 3's frequency are equal, 1. So we'll check which page came first. From left to right, 2 came first. So we'll remove 2 and add 4 here. So 4 will get added here. There will be a page fault and 0 and 3 will remain there and 4's frequency will increase, 2's frequency will reset and we'll put a cross over here. The next page is 2. So we'll see the frequencies of 4, 0, 3. 0's frequency is highest. So 4 and 3 have the same frequency. So we'll see from left to right which page came first, 3 came first. So we'll remove 3 and add 2 there. So 4 and 0 will remain here 
and 2 will get added here there will be a page fault and will increase the frequency of 2 and 3's frequency will reset and will also put a cross over here the next page is 3 so we'll check 402's frequency 0 has the highest frequency 4 and 2 have same frequency so again left to right 2 came first but we can't consider this page because it is removed so that's why we have put a cross over here so that we know that we don't need to consider these pages now so just move your cursor from left to right and see which page came first 4 came first so we'll remove 4 and add 3 there so 3 will get added here there will be a page fault and 0 and 2 will remain there and 3's frequency will increase 4's frequency will be reset and we'll put a cross over here the next page is 0 so 3 0 2 will remain there and 0's frequency will get increased this is a page hit the next page is 3 which is already present again there will be a page hit and 3's frequency will increase again 2 is already present so there will be a page hit and 2's frequency will be increased the next page is 1 which is not present in the page frame so we'll see 3 0 2's frequencies so 0 has the highest frequency that is 4 and 2 and 3 both have frequency 2 so we'll check which page came first from left to right 2 came first so we'll remove 2 and add 1 here so 0 and 3 will remain there and 1 will get added here and there will be a page fault. 1's frequency will be increased, 2's frequency will get reset and we'll put a cross over here. Just make sure that you are putting cross over here so that you trace it correctly. Now the next page is 2 which is not present in the page frame. So we'll check 3, 0 and 1's frequencies. 0 has the highest frequency so 3 and 1. Between 3 and 1 1 has the least frequency so we'll remove 1 and add 2 there so 0 and 3 will remain there 2 will get added here there will be a page fault 2's frequency will get increased 1's frequency will reset and we'll put a cross over here so this is how least frequently used or not frequently used page replacement algorithm works the difference between LFU and LRU is it requires a shorter history so that's it for today i hope you understood what is lfu and how it works thank you for watching this video make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video make sure to hit the like button bye